नमस्कार दोस्तों गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजय कार्लर योर फ्रेंडली एंड फेमिलियर एंडक्नोलॉजिस्ट एंड यूर वॉचिंग डॉक्टर के केज मेड टॉक्स मंडेज विद डॉक्टर संजय कार्लर आज के हमारे नॉन स्टॉप शो का सेवन हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी एट सात सौ अठानवे में एपिसोड है लेट्स आर द हेडलाइंस फॉर टूडे कोविड का प्रकोप बढ़ता जा रहा है पूरी दुनिया में चाइना में कोरिया में बाकी देशों में Uh, but in the meanwhile alembic pharma has received the us fda nod for its injection called fulvirestrand government has taken cognizance of the covid threat and uh, as we take guard against covid experts have ruled out a bf.7 wave in india for the time being magar agar vaccination ki baat ki jaye to bharat biotech is still to begin incubation and what they tell us is that bf.5.7 boosters are still in the laboratory stage abhi ye पेशेंट्स के लिए क्लिनिकल यूज के लिए तैयार नहीं हुई हैं ये वैक्सीन कोविड के अलावा और भी बीमारियां हैं एंड टाइप टू डायबिटीज इज समथिंग दैट ट्रेवल्स एस अलॉट रिसर्चर्स हैव रिपोर्टेड दैट सेल थेरेपी मे रिड्यूस किडनी डैमेज फ्रॉम टाइप टू डायबिटीज एंड द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिलीज न्यू फैमिली प्लानिंग एंड अबॉर्शन केयर कॉम्पिटेंसी स्टैंडर्ड फॉर हेल्थ वर्कर्स इंडिया में हाल ही हाल ही में हमारे एम मेडिकल टर्मिनेशन ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी के लॉज भी बदले हैं रूल्स बदले हैं so if you need help just speak with your uh, closest gynecologist or even with your rasha worker they will guide you is news ke sath let's go to our topic for today ab aaj ka hamara topic hai living with hypothyroidism to agar topic hai living with hypothyroidism to expert kon honge isme doctor jo thyroid ka ilaj karte hain या वो लोग वो व्यक्ति वो मनुष्य वो इंसान वो महिलाएं वो पुरुष जो थायराइड के साथ जीते हैं ऑब्वियसली द आंसर विल बी सेकंड समन हु इज लिव्ड विद हाइपोथायरॉयडिज्म इज द एक्सपर्ट मगर अकेले अपने साथ जीना या बाकियों को भी एक हेल्दी जीवन दिलाना एक्सपर्ट की खासियत क्या है तो आज के जो हमारे एक्सपर्ट हैं वो अकेले अपना ही ख्याल नहीं रखते वो पूरी दुनिया का ख्याल रखते हैं अब वॉम वेलकम टू अशोक वसीम जी वॉम वेलकम सर हाइपोथायराइड की स्पीड थोड़ी थोड़ी कभी कभी स्लो होती है तो हमारा टॉपिक भी हाइपोथायराइड है एंड इट इज कोल्ड आल्सो इन नॉर्थ इंडिया एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी कोल्ड इन कनाडा वसीम साहब वॉर्म वेलकम सर थैंक यू वसीम साहब ऑफ कोर्स नाम से आपको सबको पता चल गया होगा हमारे ही शोरे हैं हमारे ही लड़के हैं एंड ही लिव्स इन कनाडा एंड ही इज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ थायराइड फेडरेशन इंटरनेशनल अशोक वसीम जी हैज टू मास्टर्स डिग्री अंडर हिज बेल्ट ही हैज वर्कड इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड and now he looks after an international federation of uh, persons living with thyroid he works with doctors in the thyroid space that is endocrinologists and inka uddeshya kya hai unka aim kya hai wo jante hain sir se mom welcome sir thank you very much sir lots of people have logged in uh, dr sanjeev puri hain from the suwa in punjab swapna jain madam hain uh, leading patient health advocate from vellore in tamil nadu dr ramesh pal singh pawar sir is a pediatrician he is 73 years young सतेंद्र जी डॉक्टर गौरी शंकर धर्मराज लॉग्स इन फ्रॉम कर्नाटका वेयर ही इज अ डॉक्टर एंड डॉक्टर आर एस चौधरी वन ऑफ आर सीनियर मोस्ट फिजिशियन सर्जन फ्रॉम हरियाणा डॉक्टर विपिन भडूला इज अ पिटिटिशन फ्रॉम हिमाचल प्रदेश सो एंटायर इंडिया वॉचिंग एंड वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अथर्व सिंह सर जी आपका क्वेश्चन हमने एक्नोलेज कर लिया बट लेट्स आस्क मिस्टर अशोक अबाउट हिम सेल्फ फर्स्ट सर अपने बारे में तो बताएं वॉट ब्रॉट यू इन टू द थाइरॉइड स्पेस Uh, you know, I was in the pharmaceutical industry where I was managing a thyroid product, and um, um, once uh, I left the company, the foundation which I was helping, which was Thyroid Foundation of Canada, they wanted me to join their board. I did, and uh, after a year, they chose me as the president. And after three years, I, uh, I joined uh, the international, which was present, the Thyroid Federation International. and uh, i became the president 10 11 years ago uh, so we have around 35 countries that we are managing right now under that to so, thyroid federation international so let's go through this one by one international to sir hame samajh aa gaya it is more than one country right federation means a group of organizations to aisa nahi hai ke aisa hota hai kya sir usme ke jo president hain उनकी मर्जी चलती है नॉर्थ कोरिया स्टाइल आप बिल्कुल चुपचाप उनका कहना मानते हैं या व्हाट डज द फेडरेशन मीन नहीं फेडरेशन ऐसे अपनी नहीं चलती है उसमें तो 
बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स भी रहते हैं और ए uh, जब होता है तो सब कंट्रीज के मेंबर उनको एक वोटिंग राइट right रहता है तो वो लोग डिसाइड करते हैं uh, किसको बोर्ड में चुनना है किसको नहीं चुनना है और क्या ऑब्जेक्टिव्स हैं और क्या बाय लॉज हैं तो हम लोग सब बाय लॉज ऑब्जेक्टिव रूल्स रेगुलेशन सब कुछ है तो उससे काम चलता है हमारी कोई ऐसी पर्सनल अथॉरिटी नहीं है सर ऐसा ही हमारी बॉडी में होता है जो हमारा एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड है सो इन दॉडी हाउ डज द बॉडी कम्युनिकेट विद इच अदर इतने सारे ऑर्गन्स हैं इतने सारे अंग हैं और इतनी सारी कोशिकाएं हैं मिलियंस एंड बिलियंस ऑफ सेल्स तो आपस में ये बातचीत करते रहते हैं ये जो बातचीत है दिस इज डन इधर थ्रू द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम दैट इज थ्रू हॉर्मोन और थ्रू द नर्वस सिस्टम नसों के जरिए नर्व के जरिए एंड ये भी एक फेडरेशन है सर तो जिस तरह से ऐसे थायराइड ग्लैंड नहीं कह सकता कि मैं अपनी मर्जी ही चलाऊंगी <laughs> तो या जो किसी का हार्ट है या किसी का दिल है या किसी का ब्रेन है वो अपनी मर्जी नहीं चला सकते सब आपस में बातचीत करके सलाह मशवरा करके दे ट्राई टू यू नो सॉर्ट ऑफ कंटिन्यू लाइफ इन अ हेल्दी मैनर जिस तरह से uh, मान लो चार घोड़े हैं और एक रथ चला रहे हैं तो आपस में ये इकट्ठे मिलके उस रथ को चलाते हैं मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दे डू अ गुड जॉब यूर हेल्दी तो सर ये जो इंटरनेशनल हो गया फेडरेशन हो गया एंड दिस इज जस्ट लाइक अवर बॉडी तो थायराइड क्या होता है सर एंड व्हाट मेड यू इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस फील्ड थायराइड तो ये नेक के लेवल में बटरफ्लाई शेप ग्लैंड होती है छोटी सी ग्लैंड है लेकिन ये छोटी सी ग्लैंड बहुत बड़ा रोल प्ले करती है यू नो एंड ब्लड स्ट्रीम्स के थ्रू ब्लड के थ्रू यू नो टी फोर जो होता है वो दैट इज स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द बॉडी नाउ वेदर इट इज योर हार्ट और योर यू नो हाउ हाउ फास्ट योर हार्ट कैन बीट or how slow it controls that too metabolism it controls your metabolism in the body too at the development of the brain if you don't have t4 cells going in the brain uh, you know then your brain won't function and that is why it's very important that when the children are born har bachche ka t4 test karna chahiye kyunki bachche ko sab kuch jaundice to hota hi hai aai mein kafi bachcho ko hota hai jab paida hote hain lekin ye ye symptom bhi hai ki jaundice hai aur dusra symptom hota hai ki protruding tongue you know in in those children they look sluggish uh, they sleep a lot and if we don't correct that immediately to iska to brain nahi develop ho payega to bahut se kuch cases mein aisa hota hai chota number hai lekin fir bhi us cases mein aisa hota hai ki bacche bina thyroid ke paida hote hain which is congenital thyroid so i don't know i've gone away on the topic but uh, दैट्स वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट सर बाकी लोग भी आपको ग्रीट कर रहे हैं अली नजाकत साहब सलाम कर रहे हैं आपको पंकज शुक्ला जी सवाल पूछते हैं थायराइड की डोज का पूनम बजाज मैडम है शी इज अ नर्सिंग प्रैक्टिशनर इन न्यू डेली शी इज ग्रीटिंग यू एंड डॉक्टर गौरी शंकर एंड अंशु सिंह जी दे टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ थायराइड मेडिसिन वील डू दैट गणेश अंबोरे जी भी आपको ग्रीट कर रहे हैं सर तो ये तो आपने बता दिया कि थायराइड छोटा सा ग्लैंड है जस्ट अबाउट ट्वेंटी फाइव ग्राम्स Yes. 25 ग्राम का है ग्लैंड बट इट पैक्स अ पावरफुल पंच खूब जोर से मुक्का मारता है अगर ज्यादा थायराइड काम करे तो भी जोर से मुक्का मारेगा अलग बीमारियां आएंगे अगर कम काम करे तो भी दिक्कत आती है तो डॉक्टर धर्मराज आस्क सर व्हाट आर द कॉमन सिम्टम्स दैट वी हैव यू हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट चिल्ड्रन या एडल्ट्स एंड एल्डरली सेपरेटली अगर आप कर दें तो या तो पहले तो बच्चों के बारे में बता देते यू नो क्योंकि हम लोग बच्चों के टॉपिक पे थे तो उसमें तो जॉन्डिस वेन द चाइल्ड इज बॉर्न तो जॉन्डिस होता है उनको और दूसरा होता है वो स्लीपिंग दे स्लीप मोर देन नॉर्मल एनी अदर चाइल्ड स्वॉल एंड प्रोट्यूरिंग टंग लार्ज सॉफ्ट स्पॉट ऑन द हेड ऑन द फोर फ्रंट एंड लार्ज स्वॉल एंड टंग वीक फ्लॉपी मसल्स स्वेलिंग अराउंड द आईज पुअर और स्लो ग्रोथ सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द सिम्टम्स फॉर द चिल्ड्रेन नाउ वेन यू कम टू द एडल्ट इन एडल्ट मोस्टली यू नो पचास की एज एवरेज ले लो उसमें एक केसेज रहते हैं लेकिन ये इसी ये किसी भी एज में हो सकता है तो टायर्डनेस एक बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है तो बहुत ही थकान महसूस होती है और ऐसा महसूस होता है कि हम अपने ये जो बेड के ऊपर नेल हो गए मतलब यू नो उठने का मन ही नहीं करता है और दूसरा है सेंसिटिव टू कोल्ड होर्स वॉइस भी हो जाती है कई केसेस में ड्राई स्किन वेट गेन देन कोर्स हेयर एंड स्किन नमनेस एंड टिंगलिंग इन योर हैंड्स सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द सिम्टम्स दैट हैपन विद हाइपोथायरॉइड कंडीशन बट टायर्ड नर्स फीलिंग टायर्ड ऑल द टाइम 
इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और जब लोग ये कंप्लेन करते हैं कि हम बहुत ज़्यादा टायर्ड फील कर रहे हैं उस सिम्टम को ध्यान देना चाहिए क्योंकि कई लोग इग्नोर कर देते हैं अरे यू नो तुम एज का फैक्टर है या ऐसा है तो ऐसा नहीं समझना चाहिए तुरंत जाके जांच करानी चाहिए ताकि पता चले कि क्या क्या है वजह तो टायर्डनेस या इजी फेटिगेबिलिटी दिस इज अ कॉमन सिम्टम ऑफ हाइपोथायराइड देयर इज समथिंग दैट देयर इज अ मॉडल दैट वी फॉलो इन हेल्थ एंड इट इज कॉल्ड द बायो साइको सोशल मॉडल ऑफ हेल्थ एंड पूनम बजाज मैडम जो हैं जो नर्सिंग टीचर हैं शी नोज दिस वेरी वेल when you talk about health you don't think only about biomedical aspects you also think about psychological and social aspects correct, correct. and we welcome helen jaya devi ji and we are actually translating in both english and hindi so you won't miss anything out even if we shift into hindi or punjabi rest assured that the translation will be given in english as well na hum to panch che bhasha bol sakte hain india ki to usme koi dikkat ki baat nahi hai and we also have dr pradeep rawal from ujjain in madhya pradesh one of our senior most uh, viewers kedar joshi sahab has joined and also pratipati ram babu ji uh, but so coming back to the bio psycho social model of health when you see what ashok sahab has taught us tiredness the tiredness can be physical i am not able to walk as fast as i want to i am i get breathless if i walk too fast it can be psychological also i just don't feel up to it maza nahi aa raha तो शारीरिक कमजोरी या शारीरिक थकावट और मानसिक थकावट आई एम नॉट एबल टू थिंक एज फास्ट एज आई वॉन्ट टू आई बिकम फॉरगेटफुल एंड सामाजिक सोशल यस सर अनदर थिंग इज यू के नॉट फोकस ऑन एनी थिंग यू नो फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम यू के नॉट फोकस ऑन योर वर्क यू के नॉट फोकस ऑन वॉट यू आर रीडिंग यू कैन रिमेंबर थिंग्स दोज कैंड ऑफ थिंग्स ऑल्सो हैपन सो टू योर पॉइंट एब्सोल्यूटली दोज आर ऑल्सो सिम्टम्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम फिजिकल सिम्टम्स so physical psychological that is lack of concentration and also social uh, the smile uh, somebody comes to meet you at home your best friend comes uh, you find it an effort even to smile it might be tired actually and mm-hmm. then your friend, best friend comes and says gumsum kyu ho why you so silent uh, i've come to meet you from canada after 3 years and the <laughs> least you can do is give me a hug and smile and you're not even able to do that that means you go and get your thyroid done absolutely yeah. before uh, rushing for medicines for depression or anxiety a thyroid test would be indicated yes you 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 hit it on the nail because you know uh, many people feel that this is a depression and people are depressed and that's why they're complaining all this so very very often it is diagnosed as depression so that should be ruled out tsh test is important without doing the tsh test you won't be able to pinpoint that's why you have to do the tsh test and so many doctors we have in the audience today and uh, people from the public especially for the elderly people if you see a sudden change in mood sudden change in behavior in someone at home someone who is a senior citizen do think of thyroid and do, do think of low sodium as well maybe some medicines are going on which are causing thyroid maybe some medicines are causing a low sodium so please do rule these out they are very simple tests to do and you can improve the quality of life of your senior citizens your uh, loved ones sir one question coming from uh, atharv singh ji we have lots of medical questions coming up so yeah. uh, please uh, feel free to take or bounce back uh, atharv singh ji is living with hypothyroid for the past 25 years now atharv is 39 which is a wonderful age to be we seen sir kya kya hai oh it's wonderful age to be i wish i was 39 but I- i'm fine <laughs> abhi athar when you are 40 na then the sin sab and i will teach you all the secrets okay boys abhi chote ho to but uh, he has a problem and the problem is we assume that the thyroid is normal but still he has a lot of pain in his body so anything from personal experience what should he do well you know what happens is uh, one of the things that uh, he might be wanting to find out is uh, first of all his if, if his tsh is close to around 1 okay after the medications one thing second thing i'm not sure whether he's taking the medication at the right time okay because if you don't take the medication first thing in the morning without any food anything you know there should be at least one and a half two hours gap from taking the medication liver thyroid and to the food because it can bind to minerals and and uh, to other stuff so protein and minerals so it's very important you take it on an empty stomach and then the bioavailability will be better and he will get the right or she will get the right dosage so that is very important because this is one thing which is overlooked 
and people don't take it at the right time. Even at the pharmacy level, they don't tell you that you should take this on the empty stomach and, and take it, uh, you know, uh, two hours before you take anything else. So that, that is one thing. Second thing, even if the person is taking at the right time and taking doing everything correct, in some five to six percent of cases, sometimes they have issue with some excipients in, in, in the tablet. What do I mean by excipient? I mean, the other things that are made of the tablet are made of the bulk. So, when you have a magnesium stearate or uh, you know, some color that you put in the tablet to differentiate, that effect can also be done. So, it's also important to see what is the reason. And then, when you have a dose of titrate, you know, appropriate level, uh, so make sure uh, Atharji that you are taking the medicine at the right time. TSH bhi dekh le, middle hona, middle mein hona chahiye range ke. Agar TSH bahut kam hai, usse bhi darde hoti hain. Aur aur chize bhi dekh le, maybe anemia, khun ki kami, maybe vitamin B ya vitamin D ya calcium ki kami. So A B C D very common in India and all nutritional. A for anemia, B for B complex deficiency. C for calcium deficiency and D for vitamin D deficiency. E is for exercise and actually it's about physical conditioning. So we don't have exercise, we don't have to do And then our body just goes out of tune. So we have to service everything. You have to service your car. Similarly, you have to service your body as well. And actually, Vaseen Sahib, in the Bhagavad Gita, Arjun asks Lord Krishna, why is it that you work? And Lord Krishna actually proactively says that, see, I am God, I do not have to work. Yet I work for two reasons. One, to set an example for other men, so that other people follow my example. And second, to take care of my physical body. So that's why I work. So, sir, suggestions for people with thyroid. Is it fine to say that I thyroid, hai, therefore I cannot exercise? Therefore I no. shall not exercise and therefore I will not exercise? No, that is wrong. Because uh, once you take levothyroxine, you're pretty much getting back to almost close to normal. I cannot say that people go back 100% to normal, but you're getting back close to normal. And uh, once that happens, you can exercise, you can do physical exercise, you can do everything in a normal way. And frankly, 80-90% uh, of the cases where people uh, you know, take uh, levothyroxine, और उनका डोज टाइट्रेशन 6 महीने 7 महीने के बीच में पूरा बराबर हो जाता है तो वो तो बिल्कुल नॉर्मल लाइफ लीड करते हैं तो ये तो गलत है सोचना कि एक्सरसाइज नहीं करनी चाहिए एंड एक्सरसाइज विल एक्चुअली हेल्प बिल्ड योर मसल्स सो इट विल कीप योर वेट इन कंट्रोल एंड जो वेट बढ़ता है थायराइड में इट इज नॉट सो मच बिकॉज़ ऑफ थायराइड द वेट इंक्रीज इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ एक्चुअली एन इंबैलेंस बिटवीन इनटेक एंड आउटपुट सो इफ यू एक्सरसाइज if you burn calories, actually, you can bring your weight down. Secondly, if you do resistance exercises, then you can maintain and build your muscle mass. So, your muscles weak not weak. Your bones will be strong. Rehenge, and that will help prevent many other diseases, muscle and bone disease. Sir, now, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Sanjay, you know, the one thing is there that uh, if pura levothyroxine treatment treatment, um, you know, uh, titrate nahi hua ho, to metabolic factor to weight gain ho jata hai isme. so jab tak pura uh, levothyroxine uh, normal level tak na aa jaye you know tsh normal level level tak na aa jaye with levothyroxine tab tak meta- metabolic weight gain okay. ho sakta hai to, yeah. yeah that's right and sir now dr dharmaraj asked this question let's divide it in two and take it uh, one by one so, uh, he says, patient is on uh, levothyroxine 100 microgram. How do I change the dose based on symptoms and signs that is clinical? So, we'll ask Basin Sahib to answer this and biochemically. So, let me take the biochemical part. It depends upon the etiology of uh, or the reason of hypothyroidism. If the patient has had thyroid cancer and has had a surgery after that, then you want to keep the TSH at almost zero. If the patient is planning pregnancy, a young lady, then you would want to keep the TSH below 2.5. If the patient is pregnant, is antenatal, then depending upon the time of pregnancy, the gestation, you would want to keep it below 2.5 or below 3. So this is special situations. Now, 
for all other people apart from pregnancy and thyroid cancer you can keep anywhere in the normal range but the younger the patient the lower the tsh target the elder the patient the elder the person the more relaxed the tsh target if you have patients with bone disease or heart disease you would relax the thyroid target even 5 6 7 should be fine as long as the patient is okay so first of all we've understood about the targets now each person will have a different target and now let's talk about symptoms and signs uh, since as as a thyroid expert what is it that comes most important to you what are the signs what are the symptoms which would tell the doctor let me think of increasing the thyroid dose and what are the complaints which would uh, tell the doctor let me think of reducing well i think uh, that is not what i would advocate because uh, thinking is not uh, yeah it's just thinking and then we are coming to the yeah. Yeah. you know so we we'll are thinking and then we'll come to the thyroid numbers yeah so the first thing will be the complaint from the from the patient and, and you know this is very important like very often we feel that doctors don't listen to the patient and they say we know what yeah we are doing and uh, you don't worry about it they take this medication you'll be fine no when the uh, when the patient is complaining and telling about the symptoms i think it's important to note down the symptoms and i think the first thing the doctor should do is recommend a tsh test because the symptoms are there and when you do the tsh test and the tsh test is out of whack it is 7 8 9 10 you know then i think it is important that you do the dose titration then you got to increase the dose and and that is what needs to be done and and look in this uh, thyroid thing sometimes it could take more than 6 months uh, almost 6 to 1 year before you get the right dose titration for the patient and and you know every 2 3 year they should do the tsh test till they you know the, the dose is changes then they have to change the dose that's why it's it's so many micrograms 12 strands are available in this uh, medication so जो सिम्टम्स एंड साइंस हैं उससे हम थिंक करना शुरू करेंगे बट प्लीज डू नॉट चेंज द डोज जस्ट बेस्ड अपॉन सिम्टम्स कि आई थिंक आई एम गेनिंग वेट सो देयर फॉर आई विल इंक्रीज द डोज अगर आप ऐसा करेंगे यू मे और मे नॉट लूज वेट दैट इज अ सेपरेट मैटर बट सर्टनली यू विल एंड अप हार्डिंग हार्मिंग योर बोन्स एंड योर हार्ट एंड ऑल्सो बस मैं ठीक चल रही हूँ तो मेरा दिल है कि मैं दवाई कम कर दूँ तो मैं दवाई कम कर दूँ दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट राइट बिकॉज आप अपनी मेटाबोलिज्म को हार्म करेंगे तो आइडियली वी शुड Sir. you you raised a very good point sanjay because you know many time people feel are ab to hum theek ho gaye you know to ek dose skip kar denge do dose skip kar denge isme is cheez mein koi gunjaish nahi hai aapko ki skip kare dose aap nahi skip kar sakte hain roz subah uth ke ye lene ka hi hai to ye bahut zaruri that's a good point you mentioned एंड अगर आपने दवाई कम कर दी इक्विवेलेंट इज के मुझे ठीक दिखाई दे रहा है एनक के साथ तो मैं एक चश्मा चश्मे का एक शीशा उतार दूं इट्स इक्विवेलेंट टू मी रिमूविंग वन लेंस फ्रॉम माय स्पेक्टिकल जस्ट बिकॉज़ आई थिंक आई कैन सी प्रॉपर्ली देन आई विल गेट इन ट्रबल और इफ यू आर ड्राइविंग अ कार मे बी यू आर ड्राइविंग एट फिफ्थ गियर फोर्थ गियर एंड थिंग्स आर परफेक्ट व्हाई ऑन अर्थ वुड यू वांट टू चेंज द गियर इफ थिंग्स आर फाइन सो फूड भी तो है यू ईट फूड यू ड्रिंक बेवरेजेस एवरी डे एंड यू फील हैप्पी but that doesn't mean that you go on a fast for the next one week so why should you fast with your levothyroxine tablet so then uh, that so then we come to the numbers so this was the question by dr dharmaraj you've decided the target first if you're at below target you will reduce the medicine if you're above target you will increase the medicine if you want a lot of precision we have these 12.5 microgram tablets so you can reduce from 50 to 37.5 or from 100 to 88 but right. if you feel that the tsh is very low or very high the patient is uh, overweight or obese maybe 100 kg 90 kg you can also increase or reduce by 25 microgram increments or decrements so that is usually how we follow and do it every 6 to 12 weeks don't do very fast don't do it on weekly basis pankaj shukla ji sir ek question puchte hain uh, dosage per kg in adults and children so uh, mr basin raised an important point about congenital hypothyroid to so, sir jo congenital yes. hypothyroid hai inka to hota hi nahi hai thyroid gland so that means they no. would need a higher dose per kg actually And there is not true. it's not it's not that there is no thyroid gland 80 to 85% cases of congenital hypothyroidism there will be no thyroid gland 
but another 15 percent there may be a thyroid gland but it is not functioning so not that is sometimes uh, misleading so both the cases are there sorry about that yeah and you would need a higher dose per kg even five to seven microgram per kg per day in a neonate but as uh, age increases you need a lesser dose per kg body weight and uh, sir we have with us also vinni joglekarji she is a nutritionist based in bangalore so she asks uh, you have such vast international experience have you encountered any myths about nutrition in thyroid you know this is a very good question because uh, uh, it is myths okay it is really myths because there is no proper food or there is no specific food for uh, to be taken or not to be taken uh, with uh, a thyroid condition the only thing some people say fatty stuff should be uh, should be cut down but I, I don't know if there is evidence towards that uh, the whole thing is you have to make sure that you take your drug two hours before taking anything water or anything else this is the thing and you also mentioned one more thing uh, dr sanjay about fasting a lot of people fast in india you might be fasting but don't stop your liver thyroxine you cannot stop that you know because that is that's giving you energy every day. So you cannot stop that. So even if you are observing the holy month of Ramzan, you take the medicine at least 30 to 60 to 90 minutes, jitna bhi possible hai, before Suhur. Manlo bhool gaye. Let us say you forgot to take the medicine before Suhur because you were in a hurry. You had to prepare food for the family and uh, you just forgot, let's say. The sun came up first. Then you can take it the same day, just before going to bed. Akri cheese jo karenge before going to bed, wo kar lein. So don't skip the medicine. Din mein aapko fast karna hai, Ramzan nahi todni, to raat ko le lein goli. So try not to change the time, but in case you've forgotten, you can always take it 12 hours later or 10 hours later. So there's another question. Uh, would you like to take it or should I? This is from Dr. Ram Babu. Why do we treat hypothyroidism based on TSH levels rather than T3, T4 levels? Well, you know, that's a good question. And um, uh, T3, T4 levels are important. But see, T3 is produced from all the cells in the body. Okay. So it's, it's, it's a bit more complicated when you, when you start combining T3 and T4. But in some cases, in very, very few percentage of cases, it, it does seem to uh, you know, benefit the patient and the, benefits, uh, and the patient feels okay. It could be placebo effect also. We don't know. But you know, in medicine, placebo effects are so important and they play a very important role. People feel better. So that could happen. But T4 is more important. T4 levels are more important. And T4 levels should be as close to one as possible. Because a lot of people think, oh, it's 10. We don't need to treat. I don't think that is right. You know, uh, 10 can cause problems. And if there are symptoms with 10 or 7, 8, whatever the reading, then you, you have to take care of the symptoms. Uh, and, and uh, once you put a person on levothyroxine and with uh, titration, it can reach a level of uh, one, two, three. Uh, that's pretty good. The, what happens, uh, uh, Dr. Pratipati, is that TSH rises first. So when the thyroid gland becomes a bit weak, this is in Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is around 90, 95% of all the thyroid patients that we would see in India. So jo T3, T4 hai, uh, they are produced by the thyroid they begin to fall in an in an arithmetic manner it is arithmetic progression but tsho that rises in a uh, logarithmic progression it rises very fast and you get to know the change in tsh much much before you get to know the change in t3 t4 so it's we treat it because it is a much more sensitive marker you can treat with tablet t3 you can treat with tablet t4 but like the scene sabe said most of the time t4 will suffice yeah you wanted to add something you, you talked about Hashimoto's and I wanted to just uh, touch upon Hashimoto's. In Hash Hashimoto's, you find thyroid per oxidase, that is TPO. And these are rogue uh, immune uh, cells which attack the body. So Hashimoto's is a very, very small uh, amount of uh, people. But it, it becomes sometimes very difficult to diagnose that. But uh, Hashimoto's has to be diagnosed properly. And these are the rogue cells, uh, immune uh, cells which... Uh, act as uh, they are normal but they attack the system and uh, you know they cause problems so that that's really different from uh, hypothyroidism symptoms it's similar but it's more severe 
So in uh, countries across the world, there are different causes of thyroid. In India, 30 to 40 years ago, the commonest cause was iodine deficiency. Today, the commonest cause is, cause is autoimmune. And actually, in our country, data from across the country shows that around 20% of all Indian women are antibody positive. 20%. This is a very high rate. Why has this occurred? This may have occurred as a response to iodization of the previous generation. Because a similar situation was seen in Austria and in Switzerland about 100 years ago. Austria or Switzerland may be pehle iodine deficiency hoti thi. Aur jo Germany wale, France wale log the, jo plains mein rehte the, wo Austria, Switzerland walo ko hilly billy kehte the. Hilly billy, that's the boys living in the hills, ke inka IQ kam hai. To it might have been because of iodine deficiency. We do not know. Similarly, jab aap uh, 800 ya 900 saal purani writings padhte hain Arab scholars ki. Arabs Maghreb se hote huye Spain ki taraf gaye, Andalusia ki taraf, aur unhone jo describe kiya Europeans ko ki wo bilkul hi low IQ ke hain, like low IQ ke hain. And but suddenly kya hua? So dead so saalon mein Europeans ne Arabs ko bahar nikal ke fenka and they began ruling the world. Why did that happen? There is one theory. Of course, it is a hypothesis published in Indian Journal of Endocrinology Metabolism. And what we feel is ke ye jo trade start hui Arab world ke saath Sahara Desert mein salt mine hota tha. So maybe the Europeans were short of salt. Because they were short of salt, this is 900 years ago, they were short of iodine as well. And when they began getting salt from the Sahara Desert, this salt contained natural iodine. Then suddenly things changed and their uh, mental and physical health improved. That is a hypothesis. Of course, many other things would be linked with that. Coming back to India, our commonest cause hai, that is actually autoimmune, jiska English mein naam hai Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Men aur women dono mein hai. Men mein to itna bad gaya. 20 saal pehle hume koi patient dikhta hi nahi tha. And now it is quite frequent. And like I said, in our OPD and across the country, 20% are antibody positive. Uh, iske ilawa aur bhi reasons hai. And that is one is congenital. Jis mein India ke aankde hai roughly 1 in 2500 births. So agar aap 2500 bachchon ka thyroid check karenge, ek ko congenital hypothyroid niklega which is quite high actually, and we need to work on that. Sir, a core question aata hai. This is from uh, Divya Chhabda Huja ji. And uh, what she says is, you've talked about congenital hypothyroid. So every newborn baby in India, in the world, must be screened for thyroid. Yes. Uh, would there be any argument in this statement? No, there is no argument. Look, children are precious, okay? And they are sort of a gift. Uh, and uh, when we get that precious gift, I think it is upon us and the health authorities and the government to mandate it, like in Canada and US, I think, and many other countries, when the child is born, you do the TSH test. And uh, quite often I have seen children in India, uh, you know, in my family side, uh, almost uh, 50, 60% of the children get a little jaundice when they have, but that's nothing, it goes away after some time. But some children, that jaundice doesn't go away. And that is a type of concern. And they sleep a lot. So that is, a, yeah. I think it should be mandatory. And I think that is the right thing to do. That every child should be screened for uh, for uh, thyroid uh, condition. Every child must be screened. And khaskar agar, Adaji, you know, in Punjabi, the dadi or the grandmother says, Badai bibba bacha hai, manu bilkul tang nahi karda, dudhi nahi mangda. So the child is so quiet, so sleepy, the child doesn't even ask for milk. The neonate, the newborn baby. That it doesn't mean that the baby is well behaved. It means that the baby is unwell. Why is the baby not thirsty for milk? So you get a thyroid done. And, and, then and you know, one more thing, you know, Sanjay, you, you this is interesting. And I go back to the days in the school. Some people you just couldn't understand something, just couldn't comprehend something. And I think they had the thyroid problem, you know, and that was a lack of concentration that they had. So sorry to to bulge in that, but you know, I am reminded of that. Uh, and Divya ji asks, uh, should we, continuing with your uh, thought process, should we get thyroid test done for children aged 5 to 10 years? Is that uh, mandatory not, in, the, uh, in the Canadian school system? No, there is no mandate for that. Uh, it depends on uh, it depends on the symptoms. If somebody has symptoms after that, after the initial screening and all that is done when they are born, and, and they have that, then you will do that, not not without that. Because 
frankly, in young people, you don't see much hypothyroid uh, uh, issues. But thyroid cancer, for example, can can cut into a very young person. Hashim, uh, sorry, uh, Hashimoto's can get into young person. Also, Graves' disease can get into young people, but not uh, not normally hypothyroid condition. Uh, though, if there is a family history of thyroid in the mother, usually we do tell our children around the time of puberty. There is no harm in getting a TSH done. जब भी आए लड़की आती है रुबेला वैक्सीन के लिए तो एक TSH करवा लें. But ये limited होता है तो दो तो वे तो family history of thyroid. And जो पैदाइश के time पे thyroid करना है that is mandatory for everybody. In India, sir, we also have mandatory thyroid testing for every pregnant woman in the first trimester. Yes. And we encourage it in the preconception before they are planning pregnancy. So, what is your take on that, sir? Well, that is very important because you know, and that's why gynecologists are also involved in this. That uh, once you are uh, pregnant or you want to get pregnant, a lot of people do not get pregnant because their thyroid condition is not normal, and uh, they have hypothyroid condition. They just cannot get pregnant. Both it is husband and wife. So you should, when you don't get pregnancy and conception, you make sure that both husband and wife are checked for that because that is a problem. So I think it is very important that uh, they should. It should be mandatory to check uh, their uh, thyroid level because uh, that is going to be playing a very crucial role in the development of the child in, in the womb. So that is very important. It should be done. and it's for uh, two generations actually uh, sir in uh, indian philosophy we have the concept of karma karam which is a sanskrit a hindi word karam can be past tense present tense and future tense whatever we did in the past that influences our health today that is health karam and whatever health related behaviors we will follow today that influences our health tomorrow you don't have to wait until the next existence magar thyroid or pregnancy ki kya beauty hai There is a concept of transgenerational karm. So, जो भी कर्म मदर करती है during pregnancy, वो उनके कल को तो influence करते ही हैं माँ के कर्मों को. So, like let's say she takes care of herself during pregnancy, she will be healthy after delivery as well. She will be able to feed the baby properly. She will be able to work in a healthy manner. मगर उसके अलावा वो बच्चे के कर्मों पे भी impact डालती है. So, whatever karm she follows during pregnancy, that will influence the health of the next generation. If she doesn't take her thyroid medication, if she doesn't take her iron, calcium, she doesn't look after herself, doesn't look after her BP, the child will also get in trouble later on. So this concept of transgenerational karma uh, is uh, very important, and uh, like the Abhimanyu syndrome, we call it from the Mahabharat, that is something that plays out in the thyroid, uh, uh, in the scenario of pregnancy, considering thyroid. Coming to calcium and vitamin D, Unam Madam asks that. Uh, why are calcium and vitamin D supplements given to all people with thyroid? Well, you know, because there has been an erosion of that uh, before when the person was not treated, and I think uh, to get the levels back, uh, that uh, could play an important role. I can't think of anything else. And in India, vitamin D deficiency is very common. We are blessed with sunlight, but we are a heliophobic nation. हम धूप से डरते हैं. एंड जैसे जैसे आपका सोशो इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस बढ़ता है एज योर सोशो इकोनॉमिक स्टेटस इम्प्रूव योर न्यूट्रिशन इज सपोज टू इम्प्रूव बट देर आर टू एक्सेप्शन वन इज वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व एंड दर वन इज वाइटामिन डी सो वाइटामिन डी इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज द रिचर यू बिकम द लेस यू गो आउट इन टू द सन यू वेयर मोर क्लोथ यू रिमेन इन द ए सी यू यूज सन स्क्रीन सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स टेक प्लेस फॉर वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व द थ्योरी इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पहले हम कुएं का पानी पीते थे या नदी का या तालाब का विच यूज टू हैव लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ बैक्टीरिया नाउ वाइटामिन बी ट्वेल्व कम्स ओनली फ्रॉम द एनिमल किंगडम नॉट फ्रॉम द प्लांट किंगडम तो जो पहले हम पानी पीते थे वो इतना पोल्यूटेड था उसमें इतने सारे बैक्टीरिया थे हमारा बी ट्वेल्व पूरा हो जाता था बट नाउ वी ड्रिंक क्लीन वाटर वी हैव एक्सेस टू सेफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर इन इंडिया एंड इन मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड तो बी ट्वेल्व हमारा खत्म हो गया वहां से एंड अवर डाइट इज प्रिडोमिनेटली वेजिटेरियन एंड वीगन and that's why we don't have any b12 source left in the diet that's one of the theories for uh, b12 deficiency in india so sanjay you raise a good point and i want to tell you something about structured water what is structured water structured water is the water that falls you know comes from the mountains goes through stones and goes through 
the earth and, and filtration and sometimes it is what water we drink uh, is after that is like kuwe ka pani for example is after hundreds of years of filtration and all that we get so we get total structure water water has a structure and you know what is happening with the municipalities and clean water we are trying to kill the bacteria and and all the other sources which could be bad for us but in the process we destroy the structure of the water so a lot of these waters which you find bottled water and all that is no good you know because structured water is the one your our body is made 80 90% of water imagine so you know having structured water is very important now this is the concept which is slowly catching up in the world but for thousands of years we relied upon structured water and now suddenly with all these municipality water filtration plants and all that which destroy the structure we are not getting the proper structured water can you imagine जिस तरह से हम बात करते हैं मैक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड माइक्रो न्यूट्रिएंट्स की वी शुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दो वी डोंट एंड थैंक्स टू बसीन साहब फॉर रेजिंग दिस वी शुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मेगा न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड वन मेगा न्यूट्रिएंट इन आवर लाइफ इज वाटर इट इज अ न्यूट्रिएंट विदाउट दैट यू जस्ट कैंट लिव एंड अदर मेगा न्यूट्रिएंट माइट बी फाइबर एंड आई थिंक दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट आर लीस्ट टॉक्ड अबाउट सो थैंक्स टू अशोक सर फॉर रेजिंग दीज पॉइंट्स एंड टेलिंग अस दैट वी शुड व्यू वाटर with the, with the respect that it deserves na kam na zyada not too much not too little just jo pani ki ahmiyat hai utni hi usko de utni hi izzat de and uh, we have a question sir from uh, calcutta seema ji hain uh, uh, an advocate for patient health she says can we structure water in clay pots and copper vessels uh yes uh, but uh, you know structure water is a long process Uh, and another way to do structure the water is vortex so you know when you create a vortex it can structure the water uh, but the clay sounds to be good uh, again it's not being filtered uh, in the clay but uh, keeping it there i'm not sure of that but it has to have the whole filtration process till it gets structured so that has to be there so good question seema ji and let's find out more about this Uh, adab to nahida tarannun ji who has joined us and she says uh, good evening to you uh, mm-hmm. let me take this question from muni zuchi ji who says uh, what is the best source of vitamin b12 for vegetarians so the answer would be dairy foods actually you know paneer cottage cheese curd but it's not all that rich the second best source would be colored fruits colored vegetables maybe spinach uh, oranges but overall they are not very good sources dry fruits which we encourage are very good for health they have lots of essential fatty acids but they are not a good source of b12 another question that moni ji asks is that does thyroid pass from mother to newborn yes it can and often it does but it is not that the newborn will get it immediately it might manifest later during puberty during pregnancy any time in life antibodies agar positive ho mother mein to 50% chance hai ki bacche mein bhi antibodies positive honge यदि बच्चे में एंटीबॉडीज पॉजिटिव हैं तो 20 परसेंट के आसपास चांस है कि वो क्लिनिकली हाइपोथायराइड होगी वो बिटिया सम टाइम इन लाइफ सर वन क्वेश्चन यस या कैरी ऑन सर आई वुड लाइक टू कमेंट ऑन दैट संजय संजय द व्हाट वी हैव सीन एंड यू नो दिस ईयर वी आर टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी थायराइड एंड जेनेटिक्स सो दैट इज अ टॉपिक फॉर इंटरनेशनल थायराइड अवेयरनेस वी सो वी व्हेन इट कम्स टू हाशिमोटोस genetic transfer is very known you know like 90 95% case it will be there you know but when it comes to hypothyroid condition it is it it does not uh, qualify that it will transfer to i'm not contradicting what you said but I'm, i'm telling in hypothyroid cases because you're mentioning in other cases but in hypothyroid cases that is not necessary that it may happen और जो और एक और चीज़ है जो हम लोग के सिस्टम है इंडिया में जहाँ पर फैमिलीज को मिलाया जाता है और उसकी राशि देखी जाती है और ये सब देखा जाता है एक्चुअली वो क्या कर रहे हैं वो ये सब देखते हैं हेल्थ ट्री दोनों फैमिली का और वो मैच होता है तो ये बहुत अच्छा सिस्टम है जो जो मैचिंग करते हैं उसमें उन लोग का पता रहता है क्या डिजीज़ है क्या नहीं है ये सब यू नो विदाउट रियली मैंशनिंग ऑल दैट सो ये दो अच्छे जोड़े बन जाते हैं हेल्थी चिल्ड्रन पैदा होते हैं uh, यहाँ पर हम लोग क्या देखते हैं ये जब यू नो फॉल इन लव और डोंट लुक एट ऑल द थिंग्स 
then the genes are getting weaker and weaker after uh, you know two people with uh, bad uh, genes get together. So that is something that uh, the system in India, uh, where uh, you know everything is matched before the marriage, it, it is uh, something to applaud. And uh, this is especially important for thalassemia, which is a major public health problem for us. Yadi ladka aur ladki dono thalassemia trait hai, thalassemia minor hai, it would be a good idea not to get married because there is a chance of the baby, chai 25% you of the baby developing thalassemia major, which is a life threatening issue. Sir, we have so many questions and it's already 7 45 pm here in India. But a question rule lena chaunga or ye calcutta se hai. Uh, sir, Indian women are emotionally weak. Now that is a big, big question mark. Are they resilient or are they weak? Chalo, hai. Indian women are emotionally weak and subjected to emotional atyachar. Okay. How is emotional state of a woman related to her thyroid disease? Yes, hai, sir. Aapke liye. Well, first, I would like to respond. Indian women are not emotionally weak. You know, we have had Indira Gandhi as a prime minister and looked at Calcutta and, and Bengal. This woman is uh, leading there. So Indian women are not weak. Uh, I would disagree with that. They are strong and they're pretty strong and, and, and they play a very important role. And, uh, you know, you look traditionally also historical uh, culture in Devi's and uh, Rani's and, uh, you know, those rulers have been there. I mean, that you don't see in the West so much as you've seen in India historically. So, But emotionally, yes, we are all emotional beings. And women are more emotional than men. And uh, that uh, emotions can play a role. But emotions can only play a role uh, when it comes to thinking, even in, when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, thought process and when it comes to uh, uh, the emotional part uh, or the mental part of it, but uh, not physical part of it. And they are very strong. I mean, they have been in India still, you know, a lot of them are uh, working in the fields and doing a lot of hard work, uh, much harder work than men. So they are strong. They are a strong group. And then another question, Anshu Singh Ji, ka jo tha, what is normal TSH without medicine? So we have a target, chahiye hota hai, which we already discussed. Thyroid cancer, ho to alag. pregnancy plan, kare to alag. age, bone disease, heart disease. Ke se alag -alag. So the thresholds, we've, the targets we've already discussed. And whether you achieve those targets with medicine or without medicine, the target will remain the same. So if you're not at target, we need to take the medicine. And Dr. Pawar, sir, if 120, yeah, probably 125 microgram thyronom is uh, levothyroxine chal rahe. If the TSH is fine, we'll continue the same. Sir, another question is uh, from uh, Zuchi ji. Does thyroid cause nerve damage in the body? Ah, I have not come across uh, that at all. But uh, one thing is definitely there. If you don't manage your thyroid TSH levels, uh, it can affect a lot of things. You know, it can affect your bones, it can affect your heart, it can affect your metabolism, it can affect, uh, you know, the, the passing of the whole uh, gastric uh, system. Uh, it can affect your brain. So there are a lot of things that can affect, but you know, um, one of the things I wanted to also uh, touch upon, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting that because I was just thinking when you were talking, but that's very important to mention. And that is, uh, you know, uh, many people at uh, uh, the pharmacy level, they do not take the same medication, whichever company it was. And this is only in case of levothyroxine, I'm telling you. It is a very narrow therapeutic index product. That's why if you have been, uh, say, Sun Pharma has uh, uh, this product, and if you have been prescribed with Sun Pharma, levothyroxine, you should remain only on Sun Pharma. You should not change it. And again, if it is from Abbott, you should, should remain on Abbott. Or if it is from other company, you should remain on other company. Why? Because every product has different bioavailability and, you know, the percentage of levothyroxine 5, 10, 6 percent up. So it is in, in that medication manufactured by that company. You cannot change that. If you change it, you can go back to zero again. So I think it's very important that doctors make sure that when the prescription is filled for levothyroxine, bring back that medication and show it to me because it should not be changed by the pharmacist. And you have to say, do not change it, you know. 
So that is that should not be substituted. Otherwise, people can go back to zero. Sorry for bringing this up, but I think it's important. Actually, don't change your thyroid medication, and whatever dose titration is done, do it. The symptoms are important, and like uh, Helen Jayadeviji points out, altered menstrual cycle, hair loss. These are also symptoms of hypothyroid. Yes. But yes. read the symptoms along with the report, and then change the dose. Keep the company the same. Uh, a few questions, sir, if you allow, let me take uh, in a rapid fire kind of a mode. TSH test to be conducted empty stomach, ideally, maybe yes, but not necessarily. In the morning would be a good idea. If you're doing TSH, there is a change morning, evening, night, but it is usually clinically not significant. And if uh, Moniji, if the there is iron deficiency, then the treatment is iron. Good idea to take the iron capsule at night, not in the morning, because it will reduce the absorption of your levothyroxine 88, okay. which seems to be a fine dose. There is a nano iron as well, liposomal iron. And if you feel that uh, you have GI uh, stomach side effects because of the normal iron preparation, you can try liposomal or nano iron again at night. The stool will not turn black. You will not have any stomach upset and it will not impact the thyroid medicine absorption. So speak with your doctor about that. Bone density, yes, Dr. Vipin. Actually, uh, uncontrolled thyroid, both hyper and hypo, do impact bone density. But if we keep the patient youth thyroid, then we are fine. And Divyaji, if uh, depends upon the reason. If the patient has got autoimmune disease or congenital hypothyroid, these are the commonest in India, then the thyroid medication will continue lifetime. Time. We are talking about hypothyroid. If it is Graves' disease, hyperthyroid, Usually our medicine lasts one and a half to two years. It might be less, it might be more. And uh, Poonamji has a best practice. Uh, she says a glass of water, a small glass should be kept by the bedside along with the thyroid medicine. You can take it, uh, you can wake up around 4 a.m. or so, 6 a.m. Take your medicine, go back to sleep and then you wake up and begin your routine. The thyroid medicine gets absorbed. And what you believe, Poonamji is right. Thanks for sharing it. This is the best way to consume the thyroid medicine. Uh, namaskar to you, sir. Yeah. From and, in our age, yeah. and in our age, we get up in the morning at that time anyway. So it's it's good. And uh, namaskar to you, sir, from Avad Kishore Rathorji. And uh, greetings from Dr. N.S. Sharda. Uh, Dr. Sharda, sir, is one of our senior most... Uh, he has the maximum experience of youth, Basin Saab. Uh, he's from Ahmedabad. And blessings from him to you, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, Dr. Vipin shares a case where he was able to manage... A hypothyroid lady with a TSH of 11.9 with 50 microgram and the TSH has come down to 2.4. So we will continue the same dose. We will not change. Yeah. And actually dose does is linked not to the TSH number. The dose is linked to the weight. So what the books tell us is 1.6 microgram per kg per day for an average adult. But it doesn't work out that way all the time. Uh, most of the time we need a much lower dose in India. But the average would be 1.6. You know, one thing I want to say, you don't treat uh, the readings. You treat patients. Patient. So always That's remember true. that. And in India, usually a lower dose will suffice. Usually, if you need too much of a dose, before uh, you know increasing the dose, think about what is going wrong. Maybe patient uh, thyroid ki dawai ke saath methi ka pani le rahe hain, dhaniye ka pani, jeere ka pani, fenugreek water, coriander water, uh, any kind of high fiber diet which is preventing absorption. Maybe patient thyroid ki goli galat samay pe le rahe hai, at the wrong time of day. Maybe thyroid ki dwai iron ya calcium ke saath li ja rahi hai. So it's preventing absorption. Antacid ke saath with uh, antacid. So these are the things to rule out before you jump to increasing the dose. And uh, yeah, carry on. You know, it is very good point because so many times people are taking a lot of OTC medication and supplement and they say, oh, no, we're not taking any medication. But those are like medication. Those are medications, actually. And they interfere with this. So you made a very good point. Yeah. And uh, then there are times when the vitamins that we are taking, you are taking an OTC, a multivitamin. It is not impacting the absorption of the thyroid hormone, but it impacts the way we test for thyroid hormone. So when we TSH, karte hai, test, usme bhi to chemicals. Hote hai. So some of these vitamin Bs, they go and impact the methodology of testing. That is why the report comes wrong. So sometimes it would be a good idea to tell your patients that you have to check all the vitamins five days before. After that, you check TSH. 
एंड इन नॉर्थ इंडिया वी हैव अ डिजीज कॉल्ड सीलियक डिजीज गेहूं की एलर्जी दिस इज इंक्रीजिंग इन प्रेवलेंस एक्चुअली क्वाइट रैपिडली ओवर द पास्ट टू टू थ्री डेकेट्स वी आर एबल टू पिक अप ऑल्सो मच बेटर मच मोर इफेक्टिवली देन बिफोर तो अगर सब कुछ uh, आपने टेस्ट करा लिया थायराइड तो भी ठीक नहीं हो रहा आपका आज के डॉक्टर आज के डॉक्टर इफ यू नीड अ टी टी जी दैट्स द नेम ऑफ द टेस्ट या गेहूं की एलर्जी का टेस्ट चाहिए फॉर सिली एक्ट डिजीज सर लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन बट स्टिकिंग टू वन ब्रांड थैंक यू फ्रॉम सीमा जी फॉर शेयरिंग दैट पॉइंट एडवर्स इफेक्ट डॉक्टर स्मिता शाह यूजली बोन एंड हार्ट इफ यू ओवर ट्रीट सो दैट इज वाई वी कीप ऑन डूइंग टी एस एच रेगुलरली and uh sapna jain ji kehti hain sir to add to the discussion indian women are balanced they are balanced with the emotions and re- resilience and i'm sure seema ji will agree with you so <laughs> indian women women hold up not half the sky but more than half the sky that i would admit i would be the first to admit and also 20% of the gold of the world <laughs> 20% of the gold of the world is uh, taken care of by indian women okay that is a good thing to know Uh, Dr. R S Chaudhary sir, who is a senior uh, surgeon from Haryana, he says uh, thank you. Uh, and uh, Seema ji, आपको thank you कर रही हैं sir. She says आपने मुझे biology teacher से doctor बना दिया. <laughs> okay, so she ji कहते हैं. And so this Indian uh, question, let me take it. Sometimes we don't find the same dose in the same brand. That's true. So you have, let's say a particular brand you have seventy five and hundred, but your doctor says eighty eight low. so you can take six tablets in a week you can count the weekly dose and you might wish to take six tablets or five tablets in a week even eight tablets or nine tablets so that the you can get the exact dose and then we continue with that for a few weeks and then test again well uh, you know what sanjay i would say don't prescribe those products which do not have the full strength very simple <laughs> okay. why do you want to create problem for the patient mm so but in case that is going on that's another option you can do uh so there's a thank you from moni zuchchi ji and also from dr yogesh uplechwar who is just logged in and uh, before we conclude sir it's one hour now uh, any take home messages for all of us uh, on you know take home message is one we uh, doctors and patients they are not different people because a doctor can also be a patient very often the doctor is not a patient and sometimes they do not understand or appreciate where the patient is coming from i think it is very important that we have a communication and if you want a patient to communicate certain way you have to make sure to tell the patient next time when you come i want these questions to be answered okay and tell me these these things about the history what you eat what supplements you take and what time you eat take etc etc because you know they are not different our patients can be our mother our sister our brothers we are all the same people do not treat them any any different than what you will treat yourself or how you would like to be treated yourself i think there has to be a teamwork between patients and the doctors and if that teamwork is there this world will be a beautiful place the world will be a beautiful place and i think that's a beautiful note upon which to conclude this talk and uh, zuchi ji certainly will take not one but more than one sessions on uh, living with thyroid thank you uh, seema ji for your kind comments aapki aankhein bahut sundar hain isliye aapko duniya bahut sundar dikhai deti hai and same for vaseen sahab the world is a beautiful place kyunki vaseen uh, sir ki aankhein beautiful hain uh, pratik is with us in backstage pratik uh, uh, certificate of appreciation for uh, ashok vaseen sir please oh thank you <laughs> oh well, that's wonderful <laughs> thank you very much great having you we'd like to thank you and we'd also like to thank thyroid federation international for all the good work that's doing for improving thyroid health across the world isse aap sab iske sath aap sabse uh ijazat lenge kk metox is on air daily 7 to 8 pm indian standard time aur main aapke sath hota hu har somvar aur har veerwar is veerwar hamari hamara topic hoga pediatric surgery pe and dr arbinder singhal hain pediatric surgeon from new bombay he'll be speaking to us मगर हमारी कोशिश होती है यही चीज जस्ट टू स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस स्प्रेड नॉलेज एंड इन बसीन साहब वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड टू मेक द वर्ल्ड मोर ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस हैप्पीयर एंड हेल्थीयर प्लेस इसके साथ फिर से इजाजत मांगेंगे आपसे धन्यवाद शुक्रिया मेहरबानी खैर एंड जय हिंद थैंक यू